Hello. These days is a lot of buzz around investing in blockchains, a different kind, in ICOs, different kind, and decentralization. The blockchain will help to decentralize everything, and that's a big new next thing. I would say no. Let's take an email as an example. That's a beautiful decentralized application and decentralized protocol. Uh, ERC, beautiful decentralized protocol. Jabber, Napster. You, d you don't remember Napster? That's a music sharing protocol. Torrents, decentralized protocol. Even Web itself, that's also a protocol on top of internet. But this base, decentralized, becomes centralized. And maybe people just forgot that once everything was decentralized already. Sure, let's take a jumper. That's a beautiful protocol for messaging. But these days we are using Telegram, Viber, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger. I have maybe 12 different uh, chatting applications on my phone. <sighs> Sad. But even Google, who are using Jabber for Google Talk, moved to their Hangouts and another proprietary protocols. ERC, we are using Slack. We were using WordPress for blogs on our own servers. Then people moved to Blogger. And finally, now we have Medium, which is a centralized system. Even with Blogger, you were able still to use RSS Reader. So in one application, I was able to have a lot of blogs and Blogger blogs. Uh, but now I have to create an account on Medium. Decentralized became centralized. Git, beautiful decentralized uh, application protocol. But GitHub, it's a centralized place. Sad, but true. I do believe that there are a couple of reasons. It's a technological reason, it's a re efficiency problems, and problems of, of incentive. Technologically, it's really hard to create a centralized uh, system because uh, it requires much more engineering and knowledge. Uh, we have a lot of nodes which are uh, syncing to each other, uh, so you, you need uh, much deeper knowledge of networking, uh, much deeper knowledge of uh, distributed s system and distributed programming. Uh, actually, uh, it's really hard to, it's, it's not that hard to put some data to database. But with the uh, decentralized database, uh, like global database, you, you will need to store terabytes, petabytes of information. And even for big corporations, that's a problem already. Networking. A lot of nodes have to sync information uh, between each other all the time. Accessibility. Decentralized networks all the time. Uh, uh, network have to be accessible and application have to be accessible. You have to find the roads for at least one live node. There are a lot of technical problems and limitations. It's much easier to create centralized solutions. First of all, it's faster decision making. In centralized organization, you always know who, maybe it's a group of people, maybe one person, but you know who is making decision. And that decision is made much more faster than in uh, decentralized systems. It's like, you know, like uh, you have dictator who is making decisions or you have democracy. In democracy, we know that it's not the best decision making uh, uh, thing. We, we, we just uh, like another properties of democracy. Another efficiency problem is branding and marketing. Centralized organizations are much better in branding and marketing. Just because we have uh, people who are responsible for that. In the network of people in, uh, which is decentralized in decentralized systems, we don't know who is responsible. Uh, which brand, logo and stuff like that is the right one. People need a lot of time to coordinate that, to decide on something. And uh, they need incentive to promote and to promote the, the, the right uh, thing. Usually marketing in decentralized systems is mouth to mouth. Uh, just because people don't have time, they don't feel ownership, or uh, they don't have enough money to do that. Centralized systems are much easier. And finally, it's less time for synchronization. Centralized systems need much less time to synchronize with each, uh, with each other. Even these days, corporations, when they are hiring software engineers, for example, they would like to work you on site. Because when you're coming to the office, you have to spend much less time to synchronize what is happening, what is the current state. Uh, also, uh, you have central authority who is saying in which process you're working uh, and stuff like that. If somebody is working in your even centralized company, like just 
distributedly in different time zone uh, with a different lifestyle uh, it's already hard you, you have to create a process how to manage that in the centralized system it's even harder because everyone is somewhere else and there is hard to find that central authority so it's it's, it's really slower actually development the centralized system it's much slower than centralized development you know there are many things uh, when you are talking about incentive but here i am talking about monetization it's totally it's it's really hard to monetize distributed decentralized systems uh, to find the business model for that and that's why when venture capitalists are investing in something you have to become bigger and more centralized system because when you are centralized you are getting paid you're growing and if you're bigger you're getting getting bigger uh, part of market and you can win access to finance for, uh, for, for uh, such projects it's much easier so monetization is a problem people likes freedom it makes us happier it creates uh, uh, much more creativity uh, it's it's a really good thing if you would like to be free and centralization is getting that freedom from you also when we are talking about venture capital fund, uh, funds venture capitalist says winner take it all the best platform is which can become a global platform which can win over the whole market and take big part of it not five percent but 50 that's uh, very good for them and all that ideology creates monopolization and as we know monopolization is everything uh, uh, monopolization of everything creates dictatorship uh, and limiting people's freedom and crea uh, creativity i don't like to live in a world where everything is run by monopol monopolies do you i don't believe so Yes, Bitcoin is the answer. Okay, programmable money is a key for decentralization from my point of view. Even if blockchain will be used only for money, because it was created for money, that's enough to change this game. How? Because it creates possibility to monetize those networks. It's, uh, if you have decentralized uh, Dropbox, for example, like file sharing on the internet, just imagine uh, decentralized torrent with payment inside that people uh, now have much bigger incentive to to use those networks to store the files to share those files share their uh, computing power or their uh, bandwidth or, or, or doing something uh, and actually uh, when you we are talking about distributed system like email or like torrent uh, when nobody uh, uh, run it it's it's really <laughs> It's impossible to get bank account for such projects. So you, you can create some corporations on top of that uh, decentralized application protocol. And finally, you get GitHub, which is good, beautiful, centralized organization. Because only GitHub could get a bank account, not a network of some uh, servers which are providing some storage and syncing for you. But with cryptocurrencies, you can uh, put monetization inside the protocol uh, uh, everything can be automized so bots will be paying for another bots uh, and uh, that's that's beautiful you really can change everything just by allowing your new networks to accept cryptocurrencies without any permissions of any regulator any bank you can create any any platform like i don't know like trading platform marketplace file store uh, sharing and you, you can be paid that's beautiful so that's my thoughts on decentralization on the role of blockchain in that please subscribe to my channel don't forget about Yarocoin. see you